What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm Vlog. My name's Kevin and uh, it's a quiet day here on the farm and uh, I'm walking out to the garden right now and I want to share with you guys uh, we got a kind of a problem with some of our uh, vegetables and I want to share with you guys what I'm going to do to uh, try to combat that but first uh, it's been a great year for our garden. Uh, this is the first year we've done our raised beds. You know, every other year we've done the traditional garden just out on our property. We would use the uh, six foot tiller I got, the three point tiller I got behind the uh, Kubota tractor and till up a piece of our property. And we did that for about 10 years. And we would add nutrients and stuff to the soil, add all kinds of stuff, trying to get it, you know, to where it was very fertile and where it would grow good vegetables, but we always have problems with something year after year. So this year we decided to do these raised beds and we mixed up some uh, super soil that Bumblebee Junction has videos over and we have had nothing but success with this stuff. And uh, oh, I don't know, you guys can see these cucumber plants here and that's something we're going to talk about here in just a minute, but let's, let's, say, let's take a look at some of these tomatoes. I can get through this jungle of uh, cucumbers. So this year our tomatoes are doing fantastic. This is one of the best years we've ever had for our tomato plants. You guys can see all these cherry tomatoes. I mean these things are just loaded. And we do have aphids. <clears throat> but that's not the pest that we're going to talk about today. I don't know if I can get focused in. I can't see i was going to show you guys what these aphids look like for those of you that's never seen them but as you can see here these are some pretty good sized tomatoes we got and these things are hidden all back up inside this raised bed i kind of planted these tomato plants a little too close but they're still doing excellent i've got some sunflowers that my wife rachel planted here in the corner these ain't growing so big this one right here is growing pretty big but as you guys can see, there is just tomatoes everywhere. Tomatoes, we've been eating the far out of cherry tomatoes. We've got our sun sugar, these yellow tomatoes. We got some normal red cherry tomatoes. They're really good. <clears throat> Take a look over here. Our green beans aren't doing so good. I uh, just started seeing some blooms yesterday. I don't know what's going on with it, but these white flowers are the blooms for the green beans. And they're actually a Cherokee wax greasy bean. They're not actual just straight regular green beans, but our cucumbers are doing excellent. We've been picking cucumbers and giving them away. We have an overload of cucumbers. All right, we'll come over here. We got some more sunflowers that Rachel planted. These things are doing pretty good. I don't know what these beetles are that are always on them, but you can see the head starting to form. I don't know how long it'll be till it opens up. Got our onions. Got some pretty good sized onions formed. Got our Swiss chard and our kale. This stuff's getting pretty big. The, the bugs are eating some of the leaves, but you know, there's so much here. We can share some with some of these bugs. They're not really hurting anything. Just cut off the bad parts and and then we got our kale, that stuff's pretty good. Got our carrots. The radishes are starting to go to head and seed. So we're gonna probably pick the rest of them. And uh, I don't know what these little beetles are on these radishes. They're probably not good though. They're starting to eat the leaves. So uh, those are some crazy looking little bugs. Can't get focused in on it but anyways we got our salad mix this bed just about overgrown and we'll continue harvesting some stuff out of it but it's about time to start thinning it out and getting it ready for a fall bed and then of course our strawberry plants are doing wonderful been picking strawberries here and there and something keeps coming and eating some of them probably rabbits and i haven't seen any deer around and for those of you that's been following the channel a long time, these plants right here are our uh, Sugar Rush Peach Peppers. And looky here guys, we're fixing to actually harvest some as soon as they get a little bigger and start turning colors. 
we're gonna harvest some of these things and give them a shot we got our jalapenos, we got habaneros. I picked uh, several big bell peppers yesterday off this plant. It's even falling down. It was so heavy with those plants. Got one of those tangerine dreams. That's a pretty good pepper. It's like a snacking pepper, more like a bell pepper. But anyways, let's get to the uh, point of this video. Alright, so I showed you pretty much everything in our raised bed garden but i have not shown you our squash and zucchini beds and there's a reason why it's kind of embarrassing because we let it kind of happen but as you can see behind me you know everything else is all green bright green looking healthy and then look at this bed right here not so great and this is all this half of the garden is squash this way and this back half is zucchini and what we got are squash bugs and what happens are is the squash bugs get on here lay their eggs all the babies and the moms and dads everybody goes down to the trunk of the plant and they start sucking the sap out of it and it let me show you something real quick so here is one of the stinking little squash bugs these guys are bad guys and let me show you what their eggs look like that right there is a row of squash bug eggs. I don't know if I can focus in on it. There you go. If you guys see them on your plants, you got squash bugs. And these things are nasty looking. Here's some that's just hatched. Let's see if I can find them here. There we go. These little guys just hatched and they are really weird looking. They look like little spiders. So if you guys see these, you're going to have problems with your squash. And, uh, you know, we want these plants to last as long as possible so we can keep harvesting out of them. And right now they're not healthy and they're not really producing any blooms. So we're going to try to do something to uh, hopefully bring it back to life. Give it a little more perkiness and uh, get them to green back up. And, man, these squash bugs, they're everywhere. I see a bunch of eggs. I see squash bugs all in there. I mean this thing see that squash bug right there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up a spray I bought some uh, organic pure neem oil and I bought some peppermint soap and what we're gonna do is make a little concoction up I've done a little research online watch some other youtubers that has successfully used this on combating the squash bugs so let me set this up and I'll show you guys what we're gonna do all right guys, so I got the two things we're gonna use for this mix here. And both of these were purchased on Amazon. One is a neem oil, pure and natural. It is fully organic, safe for bees, it's bee friendly. And uh, basically this is harvested from a neem tree, which is an evergreen tree. And they harvest the nuts and the fruit that the evergreen tree produces. They grind it up, pulverize it, and press the oil out. And uh, this is where this comes from so it's super safe you got to be careful you can't mix it too hot because uh, from what I've read and such you can burn up your plants and the second is 18 in 1 hemp peppermint pure soap so this is a concentrated soap and I found this online as well a lot of people are sharing it I'm a member of a lot of different groups and such on Facebook and a lot of people swear by this so we're gonna put a little bit of this in there as well so what I got here is 16 ounces or two cups of warm water in a spray bottle here. And we are going to mix, let's put this oil in first. Really, ideally you would want to put the soap in first so this oil kind of gets mixed in the water. Because let me show you here what happens when you mix. You guys know what happens when you mix oil and water. It doesn't mix. So we're going to measure out one teaspoon. Some pretty thick oil all right I know you guys probably can't see this very well well maybe so so you see that oil is just sitting there on the surface and you get your spray bottle it has this tube on here it's gonna be down at the bottom it isn't gonna pick up any of that oil oil you're just gonna be spraying straight water <clears throat> so what we want to do is peppermint oil it smells great 
what you do is you add some oil I mean my bad peppermint soap it smells great you want to mix some of the soap in here I'm gonna add a teaspoon of it as well and it will actually break the surface tension of the water and you can already I don't know if you guys can see it that oil is already starting to get mixed in with the water now all right so we're gonna put the cap on and get it shaken up All right, see it now? And you know, you can mix up larger batches of this and let it set, but if you do, the oil is eventually going to rise up to the top, and they say within like three to five minutes. So as I'm going to spray this, I'm going to keep mixing it and uh, want to make sure that all that oil is mixed in this water pretty good. So let's go get spraying these squash bugs and spray those squash plants and the zucchini plants. Alright guys, so before you follow my directions and do the same exact mix that I do, uh, I ask you guys to just try out a little bit before you go spraying your whole garden with this stuff. I've never used this before and I don't know if it's going to burn my plants up, but as you can see by the look at them, if I don't do, don't do something quick, these things ain't going to last very much longer and hopefully they're not already too far gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start spraying all the leaves, all the foliage of these squash and zucchini plants. I'm going to spray the soil around the plants. And I'm going to spray all the stems and the trunk of the plants. And uh, I'm going to spray the, the raised bed. I'm going to spray everything. And uh, this stuff is supposed to work great for squash bugs. And they say it suffocates some of them. And it says that the ones that it doesn't kill, it will keep them from reproducing. It does something with their hormones. So, uh... I guess it's really strong on these baby squash bugs. So if we see any of them, hopefully it'll kill them pretty quick. But let's get to spraying these things. And a lot of times, these squash bugs like to hide underneath your leaves. So, oh yeah, they're spreading out. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. They're running from this stuff. Like I was saying, a lot of times the squash bugs like to get underneath the leaves. Like that right there. I don't know if you guys can see them very well. So we'll get under there. And these things grow super fast. It's like as soon as they're hatched out, these things just grow every day it seems like they just double in size but like I said I'm gonna spray every single branch there is get rid of these suckers hopefully this works we'll see guys so I ended up spraying three whole bottles on this uh, raised bed with the squash and zucchini and uh, every time I ran out I just went and mixed another batch but uh, hopefully time will tell whether this works or not hopefully it don't burn up the plants they say within 24 to 48 hours you should know whether it's gonna damage your plants or not uh, sometimes you can spray it a little too hot I guess if you mix too much on there but I just went by other people's recommendations that I've seen on other YouTube videos and such and this is what pretty much what they recommend there's all kinds of ideas out there but I want to give this a shot I mean what do I have to lose look at this these look horrible and just a week ago before we went on vacation you know they were nice healthy green plants um, it is what it is this is this is our fault for not taking care of it and being proactive before the squash bugs took over and if this works and does not harm the plants, I did spray one of my little uh, bell pepper plants down with it just to see how sensitive other plants are to this mix. 
if this works on on these squash bugs here I'm gonna go ahead and do the cucumber plants because they say squash bugs don't really like cucumber plants so their first pick is the squash and zucchini but as soon as they kill all the squash and zucchini and there's no more green plants for them to suck the sap out of they will move over to your cucumber plants and our cucumber plants are doing wonderful as you guys can see we've been picking tons every day giving all the extras away but if the squash bugs take out the zucchini and the squash plants they're going to come over here and these will be gone within a week uh, as soon as they get over to these cucumber plants they got little bitty you know they got little bitty stems growing out from the roots and it don't take no time these things are dead once they start sucking the sap so if this works we're gonna wait and see and then we will come and spray these cucumber plants and i'll share with you guys the results of this to see what happens with the squash plants that we already have but guys uh i told you this is an 18 in 1 peppermint oil that i bought on amazon and i'm not going to read all the ingredients on here you guys can check it out if you're interested i'll leave a link down in the description to where we purchased this on amazon and as well as this neem oil this stuff's it's really stinky but they say it works really great it's 100 natural pure neem oil and uh you know this is something you can do without you know i could go get some seven and some other chemicals and sprinkle all on that stuff but do you really want to eat vegetables that has chemicals that kill bugs and all that stuff on it we don't want to here on our farm so we're going to try to keep everything organic and uh safe for human consumption and we feed it to our animals all the leftovers and stuff you know we try to give our animals some we usually have hogs and this year we don't but all the leftover you know if anything was left over or rotted or had a bad spot on it we'd always feed it to our hogs so we don't want to give our animals chemicals as well because in the end we usually always eat our animals so that being said guys i'm gonna end this video thank you guys so much for watching check back to see if this worked or didn't work we'll see like i said only time will tell if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button click the notification bell so you know when we upload new content smash that like button and we'll see you next time guys